All right, hey, hey guys, Arno Bros here, and we're going to um, try our best to show you how to bench press. All right, first thing, when you're, when you're doing a bench press, you, you, there's a lot of things, easy ways to get hurt in your shoulders, anywhere, lower back if you strain it too hard. So what you're gonna do, you lay back, you wanna have a solid um, base. You also, the, one of the most important things, there's even a technique where you can do it. You can pull up on the bar like this and get your back good and arched and then lay back. And however you work, where you, you want it to keep it like that when you're bench pressing. And, and it helps. And you, you want to have it where you can put your hands under the arch. Then you grab the bar, all right? You want to have a good kind of wide grip, all right? There's different ways to bench press. You can do a close grip, wide grip. But anyways, when you're, when you're doing a normal kind, you want to have a good wide grip. Where about your forearms when you come down right here, as you can see my forearms are about straight. Alright? So, when you go down, you can look at my feet real quick. You, you want to start with them up a little bit. And then as you go down, you want to put them, your heels on the back, pushing towards the ground. So, when you're doing really heavy weight, you can use that force to help and get it all the way up. Alright. Alright guys, um, back to what... We were doing bench pressing, but this time we're going to focus more on the close grip bench, which focuses on those triceps, all right? So, you still, you still want to do the same thing about a regular bench, but there's a few differences. So, you want to you wanna have that core, you want to do the thing where you keep your chest compact, but you're, you're going to grab closer in this time, obviously. It's close grip bench. So, when you go down, now this is a lot on experience to me. And the people with shoulder problems. A lot of people that I work out with, older people, they uh, if they have shoulder problems, they like to do this when they're bench pressing, even on the wide grip. But for me, I like it better for the close grip. So what they do is when they go down, they don't they don't touch. Okay, they stop about right here, two to three inches above, and go back up. Now one thing that does is if you do it, you you do a whole set of them. All right. It doesn't give your triceps too much of a break. So, you, 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 you can have a lot of tears and stuff. It, it's a lot better for your, for your workout. It's a lot faster pace. Alright? Man, I'm getting a sweat just sitting here doing them. But yeah, that's what you want to do. And it, it protects your shoulders more. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt as more. You can do more. If you have shoulder problems, you can do bench press because it doesn't hurt as much. And really, when you're... When you're Bench pressing anyways, the point when you come all the way down, when you come all the way down, your shoulder, your um, muscles are just resting. So why come all the way down? Why not stop here and then go back up? Because if you go all the way down, your muscles are just resting. There's, there's no reason. So even if you don't have shoulder problems, it's still a good idea. Because go all the way down, your muscles are just resting. There's no point into it. Now, got on a little rabbit trail there, but... That's about it for close grip bench. I already showed you all how to do the regular one. Thanks for watching.